Thank you for viewing the AlateHate.com video review of the Yura Giga 5. Our apologies for the overall length of the video. We wanted to make sure we cover what we consider to be the best ultra automatic on the market with a comprehensive, in depth look at the new Yura Giga 5. We feel this is the most substantial espresso machine ever to be produced, and thus we want to show you all of the details in our review. We hope you enjoy it, and as always, let us know if you have any questions. It is our goal to offer you the best price and the best package available on the market. The new Yura Capresso Giga 5, the most sophisticated ultra automatic on the market today, and the most luxurious and feature packed unit that Yura Capresso has ever made. The unit weighs 40 pounds without beans or water. It has a very high capacity 90 ounce water tank, features double ceramic grinders which can be independently operated or together. You can actually blend both grinders and get the best possible cup. Louvers on top of the Giga 5 open and close automatically. There is an internal fan which serves two purposes. It actually cools the dual thermal blocks inside and circulates the amazing aroma of your espresso into the room, creating that coffee bar atmosphere and bringing you back to the Giga 5 for another round. Now on the Giga 5 you have these two ceramic grinders, so you have hoppers for each grinder. Of the hoppers, they have these wonderful heavy stainless steel lids, they have a huge gasket around the edge which helps to create um, a seal in the bean hopper uh, allowing you to keep the coffee as fresh as possible inside. The grinders are actually really amazing. They are self-adjusting and you can manually go into the menu just go into the menu here and make adjustments to the grinder which happen electronically. You can set the consistency of the grind independently. So on the left grinder I can make adjustments to the fineness and it'll actually adjust the ceramic discs accordingly. There's no physical movements to make on your own. On our Giga 5, I actually don't fill the bean container until the beans are completely gone and we have the message on the display that, that shows that the bean hopper is empty for whichever grinder we're talking about, the left or the right grinder. This allows you to keep the beans as fresh as possible. There's actually a laser inside the bean hopper which tells you electronically when you've run out of beans so you're not going to um, overgrind or waste a shot it'll just tell you let's add beans to the coffee machine and we're ready to go again. Mega 5 you have this sleek modern design sloping in the front it's really nice looking everything's heavily built like a tank you have the pre-ground doser up here for whatever extra coffee you could possibly want to use. I mean, we've got two grinders and a pre-ground doser, so you can use three types of coffee with this machine. Under this lid here on the right, we have the pre-ground doser scoop, and you can use two scoops with this machine, giving you the maximum dosage allowable. Now, on the left-hand side, we have the large, almost 90-ounce water reservoir. That's a lot of coffee you can make with this water tank. It lifts out and you can see I have it pretty full here. In the starter kit for the Giga we have this extension for the water filter here. It clips on to the water filter and allows it to go all the way to the top and lock in so there's no movement. You can fill the water tank at the side of the machine or take it out and fill it. It makes no difference. It actually comes with two filters in the starter kit a latte hot includes some extra filters with the machine. We include the Jura cup warmer with the machine. So this is electronically programmable. Got some of my cool cups in here. You can program the on off time for the cup warmer with this digital display in the back. There's two levels of storage. And we also include the cool control. This is the premium cool control that holds up to 34 ounces of milk. Giga 5 actually includes its own milk container, so you'll have two milk containers for use with this machine. We have the cappuccino cleaning solution that you'll run through the cappuccino cleaning cycle. And we have the extra cleaning tablets that come with the machine. This is really important. Like to do the cleaning cycle whenever the machine asks us to do that. 
Let's have a look at the high definition color touchscreen of the Giga 5. On top we have this circular dial which allows us to select beverages. We can go into the programming menu by pressing P. Now here's the maintenance menu. This button allows us to go in and run a cleaning cycle. This is where we insert the tablet and the pre-ground doser. The machine uses water jets to clean its internal components out. It's very much like a dishwasher. Imagine having a dishwasher inside the Giga 5. Because there's no removable brew group, we have that maintenance menu. The machine takes care of itself. It's all hands off. It does it from the ground up by itself. This indicator is a graph that shows us when it's time to change the filter. When we use the filters in the machine, we have to descale a lot less. According to Eura Capresso, we don't ever have to descale when you use the filter, but I would still recommend descaling every two months or so. It's not going to hurt anything. It's going to protect your investment, and it only takes a few minutes. It's no big deal. So, further in the menu, we have the milk rinsing cycle, the coffee cleaning cycle, and the more sophisticated clean the milk system cycle. Uh, which cleans out the cappuccino device inside the Giga. If we go next, we have expert mode where we can make changes to each of the individual drinks. So we can change the volume of the coffee. I have a ristretto at an ounce. I have the coffee strength on the s strongest setting. This is 16 grams. You can actually do a 16 gram shot with a Jura Capresso unit. We can change the temperature. We always want the temperature to be at its highest setting. We can select which grinder we want that particular drink to use. Uh, right now we have it 100% on our left bean hopper, which would be my Intelligentsia Black Cat, one of the best coffees ever made in my opinion. We can blend the coffees by making adjustments here. So on my right grinder, I'm using the Intelligentsia El Diablo, which is a little bit smoother than the Black Cat. So I can blend the two and kind of make an amazing cappuccino. Um, I typically leave it set on 100% to the Black Cat for a ristretto or for an espresso. Further into the menu, we can set the consistency of the grinder. We can make the grinder more coarse, we can make the grinder more fine. It's actually electronically adjustable. There's no manual setting to change. There's no physical tool that you need. There's a mini servo motor which changes the grinder ceramics and that's what gives us our setting. So you can make it coarse for a slightly oilier bean. Of course, we don't want to use really oily beans with a ceramic grinder anyway, but you have these settings available to you per grinder left or right side. Further into the menu we have maintenance settings. We can tell the machine that we're using a filter. It's activated. Whenever you insert a filter you're going to want to come in here and activate the new filter which will allow water to run through the filter and prime the filter for the machine. We have the water hardness level. Here in Los Angeles it's not the best water but we have a setting here according to what the water strip that came with the machine suggested we should set the machine at. One of the features I especially like about the new Eura Giga 5 is the switch on rinse cycle. When you select automatic, the machine will automatically perform the cleaning rinse cycle when it's powered on by the menu through the timer or when it's powered on by your finger. You won't have to manually press the button on top of the swivel pad to perform this rinse cycle. So it doesn't require any intervention on your part. It'll begin its work and that's all there is to it. It's really simple. In the menu we can set the time and date and we can come in here after setting those parameters and tell the machine what time to come on every day and what time to shut off every day. So if it's in your kitchen and you want it to be ready just before you walk into the kitchen in the morning you make these settings applicable and you're set to go. There's no waiting for anything. Factory setting of course restores everything to factory settings. Further into the menu, we can change the language. There's several options available to us, as you can see here. I'll keep it in English because that's what I read. Light, brightness, and contrast. We can change the color scheme. I have it set on the fresh green beans because it's the most colorful one I found. There are many options here available. In terms of energy saving on the Giga, 
Let's go into this menu. I have our settings set to not go into energy saving mode, which means it's constantly ready to produce drinks. Energy save level one is going to shut off the steam heat exchanger on this machine. So when you're ready to make hot water or coffee or espresso, it's ready right away, but all the milk-based drinks are going to require a warming up phase, which doesn't take very long, but it will require some time to warm up. Now on the strictest of energy settings, the level two energy saving setting, the machine will actually stop heating after five minutes and require you to warm up the heat exchangers for whichever drink you're going to make. It makes no difference. Going back into the menu, we have the beans a la carte function. This is really great. So if you want to change the bean setting on the fly, so let's activate this setting. Let's go back into the main menu. We have selections for grinder setting right here on the main page on the front and center. We can gr use both grinders um, by using 50-50. It's going to blend the grinders. We can change the selection for which grinder to use independently also. If I shut that setting off, we're gonna have the full menu available to us. So beans a la carte inactive, let's save that setting. And we have the full list of drinks available to us. So we now have ristretto and cappuccino right here on the main line in front. Going back into the menu, we have the barista setting. If this is active, you're going to have the full list of barista recipes here in the menu where we're scrolling through right now. You can see there's 29 options available to us. There's 29 recipes. If we turn off that setting, we're just going to have 17 basic options available to us using the scroll dial. So when that's off, go back. You can see there's 17 choices. All right. Back into the menu. Let's make some drinks with the Giga 5. I'm going to make an espresso with my Intelligentsia El Diablo. This is grinding at 16 grams and it should produce an ounce of espresso. Let's zoom in so we can see the crema and how wonderful it looks. Of course, there's lighting underneath the Giga which shows you your drink in the dark if you like to make coffee in the dark. Nice layer of crema on top. Beautiful. And it tastes delicious. Let's do a demonstration of a milk based drink with the Giga 5. I'm actually using the cool control. We can see the lights are on on the cool control, so somebody's home. We're frothing and foaming using almond milk. I'm using a vanilla almond milk. What's so unique about the Giga 5 is you have so many options available instead of just using whole vitamin D milk with all of that, I'm gonna use almond milk and it's gonna make a delicious cappuccino with almond milk. In the menu, let's go into expert mode here. In expert mode, I can come into cappuccino and actually electronically adjust the amount of milk foam that's going to go into our drink. And I have it set to 14 seconds. That should be acceptable. We can change the amount of milk per drink too. Uh, it's on zero seconds, we're not gonna get any of that. So let's go ahead and make the beverage. Let's press cappuccino. We're grinding some bulk grinders. As you can see the lights. The light on top lights up the circular dial. We can make changes on the fly. There's our frothy almond milk right here. The display shows us what it's doing. All right, now we're ready for the espresso. Here's our 16 gram shot of espresso. Bada boom, bada bing. Didn't ask for a more delicious looking drink.
All done. Enjoy. Yes, I shall. Ooh, super hot and delicious. Just like I wanted. Let's try making a latte macchiato. Boom. So grinders. Now this is gonna be milk, milk, milk all day long. Here we're using almond milk, so we're not getting a creamy froth, but if we use vitamin D whole milk, there's more sugars to separate in the milk, we're gonna get a nice creamy froth. Either way, they all taste good. develop. Enjoy. Yes. Again, we will. Omega 5, we can program the portion of milk and the portion of foam independently, so if we want to add a little bit more to our drink, we're just going to press either of these two buttons and get the desired product. On the Giga 5, we actually have a hot water button which can be programmed for different volumes of hot water. So if I press this, I'm going to add, with the highest temperature, some hot water onto my hot cocoa powder so I can make a hot chocolate. I think that's suitable right there. The Giga 5 actually comes with many things. We include the Cool Control Premium, the cup warming system, some extra filters, some cleaning tablets. In the starter kit, you're going to get some extra cappuccino cleaning concentrate. We have these important extra tubes, so if you lose one or two, you've got two more to go. We have the fittings here also for that milk system. On the Giga 5, cleanup's really a breeze. So whenever we turn the machine on and off, it's going to do its automatic rinse cycle. When we power the machine off, we're gonna have a rinse of the coffee system through the spout here. We're going to have a rinse of the milk system if indeed the milk system was used in that session. We can come into the maintenance menu. We can rinse the milk system independently. So here we have the milk system being flushed. Move that down to the tray so it goes right into the tray where it should go. See it's flushing out that milk system so there's no old milk product in the system. The milk cleaning cycle is a little more advanced. This is where we're going to use the auto cappuccino concentrate and clean the system more thoroughly. We do not have to do the cleaning cycle every time, the more sophisticated milk cleaning cycle, but it's fast. So generally what people use this cool control for is just to leave milk in the cooler It'll stay cold right there at the machine because it's a mini refrigerator. And when you want to make a cappuccino in the evening or the next day, whatever, it's there for you. But I like to keep things nice and clean, so I'm going to come in here to the clean the milk system. It's going to take two minutes according to the display. Fine with me. It recommends that I use the cleaning solution that we described earlier, the cappuccino cleaning concentrate. We're going to pour some water and cappuccino cleaning concentrate into this container as per the instructions. We're going to commence the cycle by pressing start and here's what it tells us to do. Now we're cleaning the milk system. As we can see, clear water coming out. That's exactly what we want. Once we're done, if we use the solution in this container, we'll rinse the solution out run one more cycle through here. The screen's going to actually tell us to do that. And then we're in business. Really simple. I'm going to demonstrate the cleaning cycle of the Giga 5. This is the comprehensive coffee cleaning cycle, just so that you can see how beneficial it actually is for this machine. 
So we're going to press the programming button. We're going to come into the cleaning menu. It tells us it's going to take 20 minutes. I don't think it quite takes that long. We'll press start. It tells us to use the Jura maintenance product, which is the cleaning tablets. We're going to have to empty the drip tray out. So I'm going to do that right now. We pull this guy out, lift that guy up. We can take the guard off. It's held in by a magnetic fitting here, but I usually just leave that guy on. You don't need to if it's all the way off. Go ahead and remove the drip tray. See the dump box actually holds a lot of grinds here. So I'm gonna clean this out and then we're gonna begin the process. Now to demonstrate the effectiveness of the cleaning cycle on the Eurek Espresso machines, you can see the drip tray is completely dry and cleaned and the dump box completely empty and cleaned. Watch, when we're done with this cycle, you won't believe what happens. So now that everything's been inserted back into the machine, we're going to commence the cycle. I'll begin by just following the instructions. So now that everything's inserted back into the machine, we're just going to commence the cycle. I'll begin by just following the instructions. I'm gonna press the rotary switch on the top. The machine's being cleaned. Soon we're going to insert our tablet into the pre-ground doser. Here goes the rinse cycle. I'm going to place a receptacle underneath the head of the machine here. Let everything pour into that. Now the machine prompts us to add the cleaning tablet, so I'll take a tablet out. insert it like it says into the pre-ground chute here. Just go ahead and oh, there we go. Press the rotary switch. Okay. After we insert the tablet in the pre-ground doser on the Giga 5, we will find that the Giga 5 is going to mix the solution from that tablet into the coffee system lubricating all the internal components and flushing out any residual coffee debris. Okay, now the Giga 5 prompts us to empty the drip tray after the cleaning cycle is finished. So we're going to lift that up. And let's have a look inside this drip tray. See all this water? See all this debris? All this coffee debris inside? The Giga 5 and all your Espresso products, when they do this sophisticated cleaning cycle, actually rinses out every last minute piece of coffee that's in the system that flushes everything out just like I said earlier like a dishwasher built into the machine now we've cleaned out the dump box we're going to reinsert the drip tray into the machine and cleaning's complete we're back in business I hope you've enjoyed watching our Giga 5 video if you have any questions, please visit us on the web at alatehate.com.